Well, hello there. Welcome to the OB Foreign Alliance. I'm Jacob. And I'm Luke. In today's video, we're doing our other Star Wars Visions uh, episode reaction, episode two, Tattooing Rhapsody. Let us know if you're enjoying the episode reaction so far. Like and subscribe, it helps out the channel quite a lot. Um, what are you looking forward to this episode, um, Luke? Have you been enjoying Star Wars Vision so far? Uh, I don't know if enjoying is the word. I, I haven't minded it. There's been some episodes I think are cool, mm. but I, I do think I judged it before I watched it. I know it's not my thing, but it's better than the credit I was giving it before watching the show. This episode, when I told you that I wanted to watch episode two, your response was it was your least favourite. Yep. So I don't know if I'm excited to watch a show if it's your least favourite. Yeah. But as you said, we've, we've kind of had different... Re reactions to some of them because we have different tastes and I episodes that I thought were good you didn't they weren't your favorite and then episodes that were your favorite I didn't think were as good as others so mm. maybe this could be the case maybe I'll like this episode or maybe you might have a different perspective of it after watching it with me mm. shall we jump in yeah What's your thoughts so far? It's definitely different, but I don't hate it. It's a, it is a weird concept, but I like that it's focusing on something other than the, I don't know, the force and the dark side versus the good side and talking about politics and it's actually just focusing on like a band and music and trying to get their band member back. So I think it is cool because it's different because in the Star Wars universe we don't really ever know much about the others the people that aren't Jedi's and those that aren't fighting the galactic war we never see just people living their everyday life and what it's like for them so it's kind of cool mm. um, but I can see why you could be opposed to it because it's not it's not what you come to expect mm. but yeah I'm intrigued to see where it goes I'm assuming the the slug looking thing is related to Jabba the Hutt in some way. So yeah, that's it's like his cousin that we never met. Yeah, so I think that's where it's heading. So what's your thoughts with the ending of the episode? Uh, it wasn't... It was kind of lame in a way, but it was different. So I, I give it credit for that, for trying something different. And it was entertaining enough. It's a really, really wild concept, a, a band, and then we don't really know why Jabba wanted to execute the other guy and whether he agreed to their trade, but it was a very different idea. I wouldn't say it was my the least favourite episode. I reckon it was probably the coolest one, actually. Where would the ranking be so far? Oh, it's hard to do the ranking without seeing them all, but... Uh, probably the, the Ninth Jedi is my favourite and then that would be equal with it, I reckon. And then the others are kind of, you know, I'd have to sit down and really think about it. But I actually really enjoyed that because it didn't require a follow-on. It kind of had an ending and mm. it was just really, really different. And I like music, so I think I had a bit more interest in it. Mm. Did you get the reference to Obi-Wan Kenobi when he's like, oh, i got a bad feeling about this? I didn't pick that up, actually. I was... I was listening to the music and trying to pick up any references in that, um, but yeah, I didn't. I missed that one actually. And he also did you get the reference when he had his lightsaber out to the Return of the Jedi when Luke um, was held prisoner and uh, cut some of the uh, guards and stuff uh, and killed them? 
Oh, you mean when he grabbed it and there was just a microphone? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, and they thought, oh, it must be like so. And he, and he was like, oh, chill down. It'll... Yeah, it's just a microphone. Yeah, I picked that up. Mm. Yeah, I, I actually don't think it was that bad of an episode. I definitely think I've seen worse. Oh, I don't know. I, just, I guess to me it's like, like, I do give it respect. They did try something different, but I don't know. I guess to me, I... I don't know, I just didn't see Star Wars. I wasn't ex- I guess out of all the other episodes, I just kind of see it as, you know, the music episode that, you know, it was cool seeing Boba Fett in it, but, you know, I don't know. To me, it's kind of that episode that I just didn't like. Yeah, I can see that, because it's not Star Warsy, but it was... If it didn't have... Boba and Jabba in it, you'd go, this is silly. It, yeah. it needed some characters you knew to even make you think it was Star Wars. Mm. But I, I liked it. I actually did. Mm. Did seeing Boba in this episode make you more excited for his own show coming out? Uh, maybe a little. I just don't... I don't know enough about Boba Fett to be excited about the show yet. I, mm. As I said, I'm not... I've seen... I've seen most of the, most things that have came out from for Star Wars, but I haven't seen everything. And I'm I like Star Wars, but I'm not like a nerd for it, you know. Like I don't know everything there is to know about it. So I think Boba Fett's one of those characters that I have an invested time in. Mm-hmm. Where like a show about Obi Wan Kenobi, I'm definitely interested in because he's a character that if you've seen Star Wars, you're gonna know who he is. Yeah. It's not that I don't know who Boba Fett is. It's just he's not that. I don't know enough about him to be excited yet. Mm. So that's on me for not not uh, not being the, a massive Star Wars fan like yourself who's looking forward to it a lot more. Yeah. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Reaction. Uh, definitely will continue um, to react to the other episodes. Thank you for watching. Let the Force be with you. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.